Good evening. I want to do a comparison of the Ravenscroft 275 and the CFX, which is on the Yamaha CP88. I downloaded this Ravenscroft app yesterday. Uh, I remember the first time I heard the Ravenscroft 275, I went, wow. That grand piano sounds exactly like I've always wanted a grand piano to sound. Beautiful, warm, rich tones, bottom end really nice, the top end sparkly, and just you just want to play it. So uh, I thought I would do a comparison between the Ravenscroft and the CFX uh, Yamaha's flagship grand piano on the uh, CP88. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to play the Ravenscroft right as you load the app. I'm not going to change anything on it. I'm not going to change EQ, reverb, or velocity curve. I'm just going to do it just like it comes out. And uh, it has 10 factory presets. Four of those are usable for me. I, don't, I couldn't use the other six. Now, somebody else might, but they're just not for me. Uh, but the first one is called Classic. And this is your classic sound from the Ravenscroft 275. And there's your classic Ravenscroft 275. Now I'm going to switch over and do the CFX from the Yamaha, which I have named Ravenscroft 275. Here it goes. And you can tell it's a little brighter. the CFX, which I have tweaked a little bit to try to emulate the sound of the Ravenscroft 275. Let me go back to the Ravenscroft. And this is again the classic. Really quickly I'll hit the concert has more reverb, a little brighter. And the third one is pop, which is a much stronger keyboard. And the fourth one is old jazz. Here's old jazz.
couple of presets that I have written. Here's one I named Elton John. It's a little bit funny This feeling inside I'm not one of those who can Easily hide called Keith Emerson. Again, we'll go back to the CFX. So there's a comparison between the Ravenscroft 275 and the Yamaha CFX, and I hope you enjoyed it. See you next time.